Hi, this is Desmond Sim here, founder of Thriving Academy and author of 7 Emotions That Prevent Your Success. Welcome to another video of uh, my presentations and today I'm going to talk about contents and naturally blocks today. And why I would like to talk about it because this is where the most sources, original sources and information that you gather around the world via internet in terms of what you actually uh, feed from social media, from the emails and uh, all the other content sources including newsletters and articles in today's websites. And what's so powerful in that aspect of it is blog and post has become the next mainstream information in today's world and no longer we rely on traditional media as such as radio, TV station and article where they can publish their own rights and author the way how they write the news, their piece of news and today lots of people could share news instantly and the more people that you share and your contents will get people read and that's a natural thing so but what does that give it to you as you are building your career as an expert in your business whether you're a speaker whether you're a trainer whether you're an author whether you are a coach or consultant and even a, a normal typical local business marketer or online marketer what are the things that you need to be aware and aware of putting a good content post or an excellent content post a blog that really uh, suits you and attracts things that give you a better perspective, make you a better expert in your field, they attract a lot of crowds in terms of prospects. Now hop on in this background of uh, my white paper here, which I'm going to share with all the four elements today that helps you to deal with uh, the expect that the benefits that if you put up a great blog post, what would leads to you. What would that actually attract to you that you never had it before? Now, okay, let, let's let's look at this, this area. Okay, the first one, let's talk about what is the first thing when you build a blog post. Whether you're using a name typical Google blog post or previously when I started as my hobby, I put a normal blog, blog spot post and then and as, as time goes by and people want to read more things professionally crafted and then more options and features I move to WordPress and uh, WordPress of course brings more for more widely plugins and more expect information that you ever deal with before but first thing before we jump into that level or in detail about typical varieties of uh, blogs uh, providers today let's talk about first thing what does that actually helps you the first thing when you put up a good blog post is something that really attracts people you are actually building positioning yourself as an influential person, an influential entrepreneur, an influential experts in your field. And as as a, as time goes by, you influence lots of people that comes into your blog post to read, to share, to comments. Sometimes you get criticized. You see, there are a lot of people don't really resonate some of the information messages that you have. That's okay. Because we are born, we are actually being fed and bred and um, exposed in different environments. Not everybody will actually share with a piece of information that you resonate and it's okay with it. The, the more uh, different feedbacks they do, I don't, I don't say it's negative feedback, I would say there's a little bit more uh, constructive feedback that uh, helps you to build a better blog post later on and um, lay out a better design of themes in the end of the day so that helps you a lot you may not know that these are the comments and feedbacks that uh, even it, it sounds like this spammy sometimes then people comments in your blog post but it helps it gives you some perspective that the things I mean you have, might have been overlooked so that helps you a bit so that helps you build to become an influential person as you are and secondly what that, that what does content or blog post that helps you to build you as an expert entrepreneur? 
for example. I would say as an uh, as a person that dealt with this type of uh, information business, you are the content creator, you are the content provider. So naturally you are the not author only, but you build your authority. That means you understand and uh, you really know that what you're actually writing in a blog post. You really know what it's worth to be shared with your audiences and prospects. You really know that these are the, the informations that worth uh, unlimited values that could help change people's life. These are the authority. So that, that means if you build good content in a blog, you just don't leave it there. Sometimes in each of a single blog post may help change people's life. As you actually craft in such a way, whether you insert a, a video itself, or pictures itself, and lay out some of the words of what you've been sharing, naturally content of blog will help you build yourself as an authority. As in somebody that knows their field, whether you're in, you're in the internet marketing niche, whether you're in, uh, whether you're in a local marketing business niche, whether you're doing in uh, whether you're doing um, some other fields that, for example, as a lawyer, as a legal attorney, they also have their own expertise. How they build information business for all lawyers, nurses as well, health practitioner where a lot of, uh, it's actually a big, big industry out there, how your information could help people change their health to a much better, uh, to the next level where they, sh they wouldn't actually rely on traditional mainstream way of treatment that really uh, make them suffer or make them uh, not comfortable in the long run. That, that helps you helping people by being positioning yourself an authority that you are, you know your subject very, very well. Okay, the third one, after you have building a, a content blog post to influence people and you position well as an authority, what happens if you able, as time goes by and you build yourself authority, you generate a lot of not only trust, but trustworthy. Are you a trustworthy person? Are you man by your words? Are you congruent? Do you uphold your integrity where you share this information? Some people are trusted, but they're not trustworthy. Now, what does that mean is, uh, that means when you share information, when you use that information, use it diligently. Use it at your own pace. And use it that, 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 that prove that people know that you are really a trustworthy person in a holistic point of view, not just purely trusted. You trusted that person, but you might be trustworthy in the sense of there are deeper areas where you uphold your integrity, you're congruent, you walk the talk, and people know you. Things are trustworthiness of you. If you have authority, you naturally will lead to become trustworthy. So if your audiences, your prospects, your leads, your clients, they become your fans and followers, Trust what you do, trust what you share. Things will come. You don't have to build a lot of, uh, driving a lot of traffic for many other areas in terms of your blog post. But if people trust you, they help you to share out, they help you spread the message further. So what do you think? Do you think building a trustworthy, it's worth your time? I'm sure it is. So the next one, the final piece of it. Uh, a lot of people would say that, uh, I'm sure that's missing one point, and that could be something that uh, has to be talked about monetary. Um, uh, but before I jump into monetary, I'd like to share one more last piece of message that people uh, might overlook or might ignore. And this is what I call, as you build influence, you're influencing people around you, you have positioned yourself uh, as an authority in a subject, and you actually lead people that gain trust from your audiences, you're building the next generation of your own followers, which we call your tribe. That is, this is naturally. We have fans, fans will leave you. 
will find day if you stop posting blog posts, if you stop contributing, if you stop adding value, they will leave one fine day. But if you gain trustworthy, you gain a tribe that these piece of followers, these groups of followers on you, or prospects or clients and leads, will become your sales machine in the end of the day indirectly which is that you don't have to really put a lot of effort to sell your product or market your product and services widely they will do the job because tribe tribe it's actually something that uh, to look into areas that what you have influenced people out there that you are being positioned as an authority on your field and your trustworthiness what you have been regained from your prospect and that leads to your tribe when you build a tribe, things will come naturally and this is where the missing pieces for puzzle where you build content blog post, which you monetize. Once you have these four areas, monetizing your blog post is much easier than ever you thought of. People are just dying to, to visit your blog post every single day because you have done all these things in all these four points. And these four areas are enough to cover you and to become somebody that you can market your blog post without being salesy, as you as some people say is that. So this is actually what I want to share with you on content blog post and why it's so important today where information sources are being feed most of the time from blog posts. Most of the time for variety of blog posts. There are hundreds and hundreds and thousand blog posts as today compared to many years ago and that tells you that this will be the mainstream information that you might want to rely on this piece of information in the long run and talking about wordpress this is where it's getting more interesting now a lot of people think wordpress is something very difficult to put it up and um, and you may not know what is the, what will be the relevant information the, the relevant training plugin and information that helps you and to be honest to achieve help you to achieve all these things putting a good wordpress block it's actually prefer preferable in the end of the day and most gurus out there doing wordpress block that's for sure whether they're putting up themselves they got an assistant put up for them they just supply content people edit it for them and there it goes and share it out in the end of the day because they regain all these things in their own field they are influential they are authority in their field they have the trust worthy they are being uh, their trustworthy person as nature as being and they build their tribe people follow them no question asked they will not actually hear those um, rumors, um, bad, bad negative comments about these people because this person have built these things over and over all the time and consistently. That's how people build these kind of things as an expert. Now WordPress is something not so straightforward. When I came out, when I started, WordPress is not as easy as it is. But in order to learn WordPress blog to achieve all these things, it's pretty hard. But before you can even start to do these things, you might want to know what you need to build a WordPress blog. Something that, uh, what are the do's and don'ts, uh, what kind of articles that you should do it, what kind of plugins they should, they should install there to get more traffic, more syndicate, and all these things. And I, I have a friend that actually covers up all this WordPress blog training and content and do's and don'ts and the steps that, that help you to take all this level further. My, my friend Stephen B. Henry actually created a training, online training, that helps you specific on the way how to create WordPress blogs uh, in covering all the areas that you can't, you probably overlook. Even I overlook some of the things that he's teaching. It's amazing that he's covering in detail of the steps. So, until the next training of it, I hope you will consider Stephen B. Henry program by clicking the low link. And I look forward to hear from you what is your feedback and comments of uh, my friend's training and he's been put up a little good content on website on that please visit the button below click on the link look at it what are the necessary do's and don'ts to uh, to put up a good wordpress blog bye for now